I slept at a Planet Fitness parking lot last night. <laughs> it is 6.09 in the morning. I am up pretty early because I'm going to Planet Fitness, take a quick shower, uh, change my clothes, um, make up my bed, go drop off my van at, at the storage unit, and head to the airport because we have a plane to catch. So I got my shower stuff. Uh, get dressed in the hair. Hello? Okay, I'm finally done cleaning up. Everything is done. Put the lights on so you guys can see how clean it is in here. Uh, this is how I like to leave my van. Well, this is how my van is 99% of the time. There is that 1% where I allow myself to just kind of chill in the desert and don't care about what it's looking like for a couple days. But as you can see, everything is clean. Uh, the mattress topper, I did get some questions on it. Does it work? Um, how, do, how do you feel after using it? And let me tell you, my hips back 100% better no issues uh, this was in the fridge so I'm gonna throw some marinade in this put in the freezer so I can eat it when I get back uh, if I leave it in the fridge it won't be any good when I get back and uh, my waters drinks and stuff and then here are my bags up front there is my small little bag and there is my big bag and then I'm carrying my jacket but you know here in Vegas it's it's hot it's really not that cold but um i am carrying my jacket nonetheless for where i'm going but yeah we are done we are done and that is how i like to leave my van uh before i go on a long trip oh also i have this towel in front of this refrigerator because where i'm storing my van uh, I'm able to plug it in so that my house battery will stay fully charged and Because my house battery will be always charged the refrigerator will work But I still put the towel in front of the fridge because who knows the power at the place might go out My freezer might defrost and water will be all over my floor So I put the towel in front just in case I'm gonna fix it up better. I'm gonna fold it, but that's what I always do Je Better safe than sorry, but other than that Everything's a go all right, I am going to refold the towel, put this meat in the fr freezer, and uh, head out uh, to go drop off my van and uh, get the day started. Are you on? How you doing? Yeah, I can put it in the back. Thank you. It automatics. Thank you. So 
So I got some Wendy's while I'm waiting on my flight. And I got a drink. Let the holiday <laughs> eating begin. Um, I got um, a medium fry. And I got a medium chicken nugget. Here, have one. First bite goes to you. Well, second bite. <clears throat> I'm gonna finish this up. And I'm gonna chill. Cause I'm hungry. And these fry, these um, chicken nuggets are crispy. I'm in Chicago and this is where I want to be for the holidays. Uh, the only thing is I thought that when I came to Chicago that there would be snow. So that is a little bit of a shock factor as typically there's snow around this time, but it's all good. There's so much to do in Chicago. I can't wait to get out there and just experience uh, all that Chicago has to offer. Well, not all because there's so little time and so much to do with not enough time, but I'm gonna do my best to just see it, see and do as much as I can without exhausting myself. But this is where I wanted to be. I'm super happy to be here. I'm just exhausted from my long day of travel. It was just a long, exhausting day. I'm so glad it's over, over, over. You know, when you travel during the holidays, the airports are just, it's a lot going on. Um, I, 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 I can say it was smoother than what I expected, but still it was just a long day. So all I wanna do right now is get a shower, decompress, take a quick nap and grab something to eat. I'm so hungry. Day one, I'm not doing anything. I'm just chilling, just kind of decompressing from just not sleeping and lots of travel. So quick room tour before I jump in the shower. So just a quick 360. There's the entryway. That is the bathroom and shower area. You can change that light to be any color you want. I mean, this is super cool. And then there's the shower area. Pretty sweet. Then you've got, you know, I hang up my jacket, got my stuff right there. You've got your mirror, you got your sink. And then you've got this weird doll thing. I mean, this, this is just a really <laughs> creepy thing. I might have to put that in like a drawer or something until I leave. Sorry, but you can't sit here. And then you've got this stunning view of outside, a nice king size bed, a nice iPad that operates everything in here. I mean, clean, simple, effective. Couldn't ask for a better room.
So I'm currently on my way to a pizza place. Oh, they have a Nando's here. Nando's I thought was only in the UK. I've always seen it on YouTube and I didn't know Chicago had one. But right now I'm currently headed to a pizza place. I'll put the name on the screen because I don't know how to pronounce it and I'm gonna brutalize the name and a local told me to come here. So we're gonna try it out. And this is my turn right here. So hopefully it's good. First impressions of Chicago, it has a New York feel, if I'm being completely honest. It feels like New York's little brother. It, it looks and feels like New York. Best way I can describe it. Got my GPS out because I have no idea where I'm going. And this GPS keeps telling me to go somewhere different. I need an actual map. I literally almost walked right past the pizza place. It was literally right in front of me, but we're about to go in and give it a try. And someone already went in it and they literally just opened up. Man, look at this. Doesn't that look like New York? Like skyscraper buildings. All right, we're going in there. That's where we're going. Your girl can't pronounce that name, but a lot of people already went and they literally just opened up. So we're gonna wait until someone comes up and gets us. And uh, they're in there cooking, making the pizzas. This place is pretty nice. Here's the menu. I already know I'm gonna eat a lot because my eyes are too big for my stomach. Look at my view. I like the view. Charming restaurant. Let's move this out the way. And it's very charming. Nice tables. You got the name of the restaurant on the wall. You got some beautiful lights and nice window lighting. And it's nice and warm in here too. So I was leaving the pizza place and I saw a massive Nutella cafe. I had to go in. And of course, I got me something. We'll try it when we get back to the hotel. And I also went to CVS and paid like eight bucks for two bottles of water. I had a lot of fun for just kind of barely exploring today because I am a bit tired, but a Nutella cafe, shut up. Um, first of all, that pizza was really, really good. I feel like it could have been better had I stayed and waited for them to make it homemade, but uh, they said it was going to take about 45 minutes, even for a personal pan pizza, but they had pre-made ones uh, that I could try. And so since it was my first day, I was a little tired. Um, I tried the pre-made, um, deep dish Chicago, uh, style pizza. That was a layer of, you had the dough or the crust, uh, the layer of sausage, uh, cheese, and then the tomato sauce. It was really, really good. And I'm going to give it a, I'll give it like a 6.5 out of 10, only because it wasn't fresh. Uh, it wasn't really hot, piping hot. The cheese wasn't falling off the sides because I chose to get it pre-made um, that was already made. So I have just tasting it pre-made and how good it was. I have to believe if I get it fresh, it's going to be amazing. And I do plan on going back before I leave to try it fresh. Even at um, 11 when they first opened up, 
there was already a lot of people going in. So I, they say if you come at night, there's a wait list and it's packed and it's crazy. I'll go early in the um, in the morning or I'll go right when they first uh, open up. That way I can try it piping hot and I'll sit there for the 45 minutes. So Nutella Cafe. I was leaving the pizza restaurant and I saw this. What? You know I had to try it. Oh my goodness, it smells so amazing. Look how big this croissant is. Look at that. You can't tell me. And, and look at the Nutella just oozing out. Oh my goodness. I don't want to make a mess, so I'm going to eat on top of this. First bite goes to you. Now my turn. I got like a tiny bit of Nutella. <clears throat> the croissant is so flaky and so fresh and so buttery. It just melts in your mouth. Oh my goodness, this croissant is good. Now let's try another bite and see if we can get some of the more of the Nutella. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Ladies. Ladies, if you ever crave chocolate and you just have to have it, this is it. Fellas, too, but, you know, women, we be craving that chocolate. Like, you can't say nothing to us if we craving chocolate. I'm telling you right now, this is so good. The Nutella Cafe has everything from um uh croissants to pastries to uh pancakes to crepes everything nutella mm. they have overnight oats which i want to try i'm so thirsty This is one ugh, ice cold. This croissant is fantastic. Woo, this is so good. Mm -mm. My day is winding down and I'm grateful that I made it to Chicago safely. It's definitely been a long day of travel. It's just been a very long day, but I'm happy nonetheless that I've made it. And I enjoyed my day so far, the little bit that I did do. Uh, and a little bit of food that I did try, but uh, hopefully my next food experience will be an even better one. But I was just thinking like, man, I've been alone for the holidays for a very long time and I'm okay with it. I don't mind being alone for the holidays. It took me a long time to be okay with who I am. And that's an inch, being an introvert and a loner. I've been that way my whole life. And it took me a long time to f accept that person and be okay with that person. And to tell that person that it's okay, there's nothing wrong with you. You know, some people prefer to, to have company and some people prefer not to. It's not that I don't prefer not to, it's just, this is just who I am. Um, you know, I am human, so occasionally I'll, you know, if I'm doing something or I see something magnificent or I do an incredible hike or I go somewhere amazing, it'd be nice to have somebody, but it's okay. I'm okay with who I am right now. And I, and now that I'm on my spiritual journey, I realize that I'm never alone. I'm, I have God. He's always with me. So I'm just grateful for the life that God has allowed me to live. And I'm grateful for just finally being okay with who I am. That's, that is just so important. Just being okay with who you are. Don't try to change it. You know, just if, if you're happy with you, who you are, no matter what someone says about you or what other people say, as long as you accept who you are, that's all that matters. 
Because at the end of the day, all you have is yourself and God. It's time for your girl to go to bed. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.